performing a monologue from Good People by David Lindsay Abair. What choices did I have? I chose to take care of the baby because that's what people did. I got a job. I got a bunch of jobs, in fact, and every one of them sucked because what other job could I get? Not much choice there either, I'm afraid. And yeah, I lost most of those jobs, usually because I was late. I didn't choose to be late. Shit happened that made me late. Sometimes it was Joyce, sometimes it was the tea. One time my car got taken. Why'd I lose the car? Because I missed a payment. Why'd I miss a payment? Because I had to pay for the dentist instead. Why'd I have to pay the dentist? I've done this a hundred times in my head, Mikey. I think you should hear it too. Why'd I have to pay the dentist? Because I cracked a tooth that I didn't have insurance. So I ignored it for six months until an abscess formed. Why'd I crack a tooth? Because one night I thought I'd save a little money and I'd skip dinner, but I got hungry. So I decided to snack on a piece of candy brittle and that's all it took, a piece of fucking candy brittle and I was out of a job again. And that's how it always is. And if it's not the candy brittle, then it's Joyce's medication, or it's my phone getting cut off, or it's Russell Gillis breaking in and stealing my goddamn microwave. And you want to tell me about choices? While you sit up here, practically breaking your arms, patting yourself on the back for all the good you've accomplished. Lucky you. You made some wise choices. But you're wrong if you think everyone has them. In fact, the only real choice I ever did make was dumping you. And yeah, thought about it about a million times since. What would have happened if I hadn't dumped Mikey Dillon? Maybe I wouldn't have ended up with Gobi. Maybe I would have finished school. Maybe this could have been my house. Maybe it could have been all of this. Maybe it could have been mine.